Today I've got some pear tree cuttings. I've been um, stripping them down and just leaving a few leaves on some of them. Actually, some of them I stripped them completely down. Um, but there are different shapes, different sizes, different thickness of wood. And so we're going to just plant them all up together and see which ones take. Because I don't really need, I've got, I think I've got six or five or six little sticks. I don't really need that many pear trees, but it'll be interesting to see how many work. And it gives a better chance of at least one or two taking and then get some little extra pear trees out in the garden. It's a lovely pear tree. It's got really beautiful um, red pears. So you can never have too many pear trees. So I've got, them, I've got a big pot here full of compost and some gravel in the bottom too. And I might top it with some gravel too, um, just to help with the water. And I'm going to leave it outside, of course, over winter and everything. So it's nice and deep. Uh, it's going to be protected as well, in a little protected area. Um, but we're in September now, the end of September. So it's going to just hopefully give it a bit of a chance to get a few roots going before everything freezes and all the trees and everything goes dormant for winter. But if it's with a few other pots, then it should sort of help it as well, give it a bit of protection. So I'm just going to um, dip each of these little cuttings into some rooting hormone I have here and then put them into the, just tap off any excess here as well. Hmm. Yeah, I should get it in there a bit further. Any excess and then just pop it deep down like that. Like that. <laughs> and um, that should hopefully work. It looks like a nice healthy one. So I'm going to do it with all of them. Get it all going. interesting to see how many actually become little pear trees from this. Let me just do the rest and I'll come back. So all five cuttings are all potted up and I'm going to put them outside and just leave them there in a really sheltered spot and hopefully they'll take and I'll check on them again in spring so I can post an update there and we can see how they're doing and how many trees I have by then. So we'll see you then.